India is demanding the British royal family to return this incredibly precious diamond to them. It's called the Kohinoor diamond and it's said to be the most expensive in the world. Now that the queen is dead, many Indians are speaking out, saying it's the right time to take back what they believe is rightfully theirs. They say, Give back our Kohinoor. And that is why in this video you will learn Is it right from India to demand this from the British royal family? Let us research for answers. We have to trace it back to India hundreds of years ago when this treasure was discovered. The Kohiner diamond weighed over 190 carats in its uncut form and it was so valuable that the Indian emperor at the time even said this diamond is worth half the daily expenses of the whole world. And so he used the diamond to decorate his famous throne. They Later on, Persian emperor invaded India. He captured the throne and took the Kohinoor diamond with him to Afghanistan. But he was soon murdered by one of his guards and the diamond was passed on to a new king. But this king? He was also overthrown and he had to flee with the diamond to the emperor of India, Maharaja Ranjit Sin. I know this may sound boring to some of you, but please stick around because this exact moment is when British Empire comes into the picture. Because as time went on, Britain invaded India and were at war with the Emperor. And after many years of fighting, the Emperor finally agreed to a peace deal. And this is important to note. The Kohinoor diamond was part of that peace deal because a clause in the treaty said the gem called the Kohi Noor should be surrendered by the Maharaja of Lahore to the Queen of England. But here's the catch. Maharaja Dulip Singh at that time was just a 10 year old boy. So how likely was it that he wasn't even fully aware of what he agreed to? Now that we've learned some history, we are at a point where the Kohinoor diamond is still part of the British crown jewels, while India is left hoping for it to come back to them. Over several decades, India would demand the return of the stone. But they all got the same firm answer. No. Just listen to what former UK Prime Minister had to say. The Kohinoor diamond, are you ever going to return that? I'm afraid Major. to say, uh, to disappoint all of viewers, I'm afraid it's going to have to stay put. And perhaps that is one of the strongest arguments Indians can hold on to. Even the United Kingdom is aware of their own guilt. Heck, even Queen Victoria reportedly wrote in a letter that she disliked wearing the Kohinoor because she opposed how how the British took over India. And of course, to all of you watching on the other side, it is a common knowledge that the Brits took many very expensive artifacts from many countries. So much so that countries like South Africa, Egypt and Greece have started demanding that their cultural treasures be returned to them as well. Like the star of Africa Diamond, the Tipo Sultan's ring, the Rosetta Stone and the Elgin Marbles. Should they return it all? What tends to happen with these questions is if you say yes to one, you suddenly find the British Museum would be emptied. And with all of that said, if you ask me, seems like the arguments are strongly on the side of India. But at the same time, if they ever get the diamond, this might bring new challenges. Because truth is, it will be difficult to truly know who exactly it belongs to. Since the Indian continent had been split, each one of them will want to claim this treasure for themselves. Whoever gets it, we at Project Nightfall strongly empathize with the colonized nations. Many of them never even received an apology. But the final answer remains with you, Nightfam. Is it right for India to demand the Kohinoor diamond back from the British royal family or should the United Kingdom stand its ground?